Hey, welcome back. We're the Three Musketeers. Today, we're gonna see what Asian parents versus American parents are like. Let's go. Dude, mom, check this out. I drew this photo and I think it's pretty cool. Oh, honey, it's amazing. Good job. Thanks, mom. You're That's the such best. Such a nice drawing. Wow. Mom, mom, mom. So I drew this while blindfolded and being chased by tigers. What do you think? Mm. Uh -oh. Mom, mom, mom. I just won the Olympic medal for running. Nice. Mom, mom. Look at this. I just cured cancer. That's very nice. My son cured a cancer! Oh my goodness! I'm so proud of him! Oh, you know how excited that is? Eastern culture values modesty and humility. Western parents want to give their kids more confidence and self-esteem. Bro, this shirt is like so rad. Hey mom, check out the shirt I got. What do you think? Um, is it new trending style? Yeah, like this is like all about this um, right now. I think it's pretty nice. You like yes, it? Yeah, yeah I, I really like it. Oh. Hey mom, check this out. I got this new shirt. I think it's pretty cool, right? Oh my god, it looks horrible. Huh? Why are you wearing this? Who told you this? My friend said it's cool. Get away from that friend, okay? People are gonna think that you're an idiot if you wear this. This is not, no. Oh my, I'm just telling you. Trust me, it's for your own good. You look like an idiot oh. right now. Go change. It's for his own good. In Western culture, you don't want to hurt your kid's self-esteem. In Eastern culture, you do not want to stick out. Hey, Jane, I'm back. Oh, welcome back, son. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Do you want some apple pie? Yes, I do. Apple pie, apple pie. Hey, Allison, I'm home. Don't do it again, okay? In Western cultures, sometimes it's a bit more informal between parents and children. But in Eastern culture, do not even think about calling your parents by their first name. That is a breach of protocol. Mom, check it out. I just got an A on science. Like, that's so easy. You got an A? Oh, my son is so smart. Good job. I'm so proud of you, my son. I think I'm just like naturally smart, so this is what I do. Uh, dude, who you? You like, okay now? Why are you crying? <laughs> I got an F. I got an F in math. What, you just got an F? Why are you leaving? Just an F? What do you mean just the F? Don't you know the Asian grading scale? Oh my gosh. That's harsh, bro. So, uh, Sam, do you think your parents will adopt? Sam, congratulations! Happy 18th birthday! Oh, thanks, mom. I love being 18. Um, and you are an adult now, so you should be finding your own place. Right, right. I gotta get like a car, a house, a wife. Oh my goodness! Mom, I'm gonna work. Oh wait, 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 wait! I got some fruits and dumplings. Oh man. Okay. Uh, I'll see you. Oh, and don't forget to be back by 10. 28 years old, why do I still have a curfew? No, but it's very dangerous out there, okay? I'm very worried about you. Okay, thanks, mom. Western culture tends to value early independence. Eastern cultures, we prioritize family cohesion and support. Sam? It's really not nice to fight with your friends at school. But mom, they took my cheeseburger. No. You are grounded for a week, young man. A week? Well, bro, well, what am I gonna do for a week in my room? Mom, that's not fair. Western culture usually leans towards non-physical consequences. Asian cultures 
usually it does get a little bit physical. There is immediate consequences. You're not gonna wanna do anything bad. Luckily, I was never hit as a kid. Hey, yo, who you, man? You wanna hit the courts after school? I'm ready to own your sorry butt. Oh, I really want to, dude, but my mom's making me go to after school. Oh man, that's fine, dude. Hey, what about an eight? You okay at eight? No, I got a math class. Huh? What? Well, what about nine? History. 10? Science. 11? Violin. 12? No, I got ping pong class. Bro, when are you free, man? I think I'm free from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. Oh my gosh, Asian schedules. Asian parents really value academic achievement and they want you to have a well-rounded education. Western parents usually want you to have more free time so you can expand your creativity. Son, you're going to college now. I'll miss you. Mom, I love you. I don't know. I don't know. No, stop, stop. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Stop, stop. I'm gonna cry. Mom. All right, mom. This is it. I'm going to college. Take care and this is pist pistachio. Your favorite snack. Uh, okay. All right, I'm going, mom. Okay. I'll, I'll see you. I'll call. I'll call. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye, Bye mom. <laughs> Son, can I go in? Oh, sorry, Mom. I'm in the middle of something. Come back later. Okay. Thank you. What are you doing, son? Oh, no, why did you knock? With Asian parents, there is no such thing as individual privacy if you're in the same house. Hey, mom, I'm starving, man. You have some food? Oh, honey, wait a little bit more. I'm cooking right now, and then the dinner will be ready soon. All right, man. Dinner time. Hi. Dessert. Nothing. Snack time. Mom, I say it's good. Fruit time! Mom, I just ate five minutes ago. Fruit time. Oh my gosh. And we'll have a dinner in one hour. Western parents tend to show their affection verbally and more openly. Asian parents usually do something practical, like giving you food or clothes. And that's probably why I was so chubby as a kid. My mom would be feeding me all the time. All right, thanks for watching until now. And remember, our video is very generalized and mostly a joke, but it's based on our experiences, right? And even between American parents and Asian parents, there's a very wide variety, okay? So, let's take it with a grain of salt. And check out our Chinese etiquette do's and don'ts video right here. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next, next time. time.